All right, what's going on everyone? In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a black hole like the one from Interstellar in Cinema 4D, and you should get a result that looks like this. So nonetheless, let's hop into Cinema 4D and let's get rolling. So it's a pretty simple uh, process to make this. You're just gonna need a couple of objects and three, te three textures, and you should get up and running. So what we're gonna start off with first is we're gonna get a disc, and we're gonna increase this outer radius, not inner radius, to a thousand. And then uh, I usually bump my rotation segments up to about a hundred so we get a nice like smooth disc. Now next we want a sphere and then same thing with the segments, bump them up to whatever you really want. And then the radius for this should be 300. And now next we're gonna grab a torus. We're gonna make this align to the Z plus orientation and now the ring radius should be 653 and then ring segments 100 and pipe radius should be 355 that is not what I meant to type 355 and then again 100 so the next thing you want after this is just a regular old sky now let's get into the materials you're gonna need three materials the first one is just gonna be a straight up black material so what you want to do is you want to make it go into it and then take off color and reflectance. And for anyone that didn't get the way to make material, you can either go to create and just hit new material, or if you double click in this area, you get the material. So the next is we're going to be making a refraction material, which is where you just want to go into this material, double click it. Uh, you want to turn off color and reflectance and then just go to transparency and change your refraction to about 0.85. This should give you enough refraction to get the effect that we want. Now for the third material, if you just want to double click again, this one is going to be the luminance one. It's the, it'll be the texture that really gives us the black hole effect. So let's go into this and you want to turn off color and reflectance and turn on luminance and alpha. So let's go into the luminance first. You want to get a picture of uh, a galaxy. Uh, you can really choose any one you want. I chose, uh, let me get to a black hole tutorial. I chose this one. Uh, I'll leave a link for it down in the description. It's a really good picture. It's 344 by like two something, 240, 2440. And so let's just open that and no. And then, so let's go into this picture. Let's change the sampling to MIP. And then let's change this white point to 0 0.06. This will give us a super bright image, which will give us the effect we want. Now let's head back and then let's click texture and add a layer. And then let's go into the layer and we're gonna add the effect hue, saturation, lightness. Now you wanna click colorize and then change the hue to 40 and the saturation to 68 to get that like yellow oranges. If you want a different color, you can just mess with the hue and you can bring it up to get green or blue or really any other color you want. But for my preference, I like 40 because I do like the orange effect that it gives it. So that's all we're going to need to do for luminance. Now when we go into alpha, let's we're going to need to load that same exact galaxy picture. So let's just load the same one and hit open and then note. And then what you want to do is you want to uncheck image alpha. So then again, let's just change this to MIP and then let's go into the image. And now this time we're going to change the black point to 0.25 and the white point to 0.64. And then let's head back up. And now we're going to add a layer to this and let's go into the layer. Let's go shader and gradient. Now let's click into the gradient and let's change the type to 2D circular and then let's clamp this black and white to just give us a nice like soft sort of edge here for the circle. Uh, just about like that. That'll make the uh, it'll make the alpha more like soft on the edges. So we're going to go back and then we're going to go in here and hit multiply and that'll give us the desired effect we want. Now we're pretty much done with the textures. All we gotta do is just assign our textures to what they go to. So the black is gonna go to sky and sphere. 
and then our refraction is going to go to the torus and the luminance is going to go to the disc now I usually use this on physical renderer um, I got global illumination on and I leave it on irritants cache so next what I usually just do is we can do a little test render and you see how we get this so this looks good this is like a desired effect we want so now if you just want to hop in you can start playing with the camera and the effects I usually like to change my focal length to about 120 or so um, we want to center this camera up so we're going to change the position to 0 0 and 0 and then we just want the Z to come back so you can just grab this up here and just drag backwards oh forgot we also got to change the rotation we don't want any rotation really so we have that and then now we have to change our coordinates again and then let's just drag the Z all the way back till we get a nice area that we like and I like to change the rotation just a little bit to give us this nice effect and then let's hit this test render and we actually need to rotate it up a little bit or we need to rotate the camera down so then that way we can see our black hole so let's just rotate this camera down oh nope we're messing with the, with the torus all right go to camera and then we just want to change the rotation of the y downwards and then the x position nope i always mess this up and then just change the y to up so we can get a better look at what we have so let's just keep let's bring this y up until we're centered that looks good and then there you have it you have your black hole now if you want animations uh, to get really get like the whole black hole feel what you do is you just want to rotate this disc around and it'll give you different effects at different positions it's rotated at so you see how you get this cool swoop here and down here and then if you just keep rotating it oh, we're doing the torus again and just you just keep rotating it just keep testing it you get better results and different angles for things so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you liked it make sure to leave a like subscribe for more and i will hopefully see you guys in the next tutorial peace